Hey, this is 5 Juliet Zero Yankee Kilo Fox Shot. Shot on location in San Andres, Colombia. It's a shot of the rotator control box. And, uh, the K92DO is our location. The rotator control box is built inside a Pelican case. I used a, um, I used a trailer connector for power. The, uh, the storm case underneath it holds uh, just, the, just the batteries. There's uh, 10 AA's and 4 D cells. D cells run the run the motors. You can see there's a relay board in there. This is just DC motors uh, driven by relays. There's an Arduino down down deep in there. Those four switches just uh, two of them are for uh, preamp. One of them's for preamp and the other one's for, uh, for uh, switching for the UHF. The other two were unassigned. Um, they were running on 24 volts but I deleted the 24 volt power supply because of noise. I had the uh, I had this running via Bluetooth. Unfortunately, it got a, the Bluetooth got a drink of serene water the other day, and I had to pull it out, and I went back to USB. <clears throat> this thing has sun track, moon track, and the other button hanging there is stop. And as you can see, those one, two, three, four buttons there are just uh, are just left right up down. Uh, using a laptop, and uh, with Bluetooth, it works just fine. Uh, about 20, 25 feet, you can put the laptop out out beyond be getting out the out beyond range of getting stomped on. With uh, the cabling, and, uh, this is the rotator. We've got a tripod. Uh, K4STO gave me this tripod. Turns out it's non-magnetic and uh, magnesium stainless. Really nice. It can go up about three feet higher, or not three feet, but 20 inches, 24, a little but 24 inches higher. The rotator itself is built out of uh, Actobotics stuff. I bought these uh, pots. They're a 1K three-turn pots. The Arduino has, uh, has our K3NG's code is set up so that it uses the uh, uh, the auxiliary uh, reference for the auxiliary analog reference. So the, uh, that is set at 3.3 volts, and uh, it put five volts to the pot, and you get you get just about you know uh, about the equal to a G5500, um, about 500 ohms give or take, and it's a double ohm or excuse me a double uh, shaft motor, one shaft. Runs the uh, runs the pot, and the other shaft runs the uh, runs the asthma. Same uh, same idea on elevation, except uh, I run it via uh, I run it. You, you can see how I run it. It's run on a shaft. Note that the uh, there are thrust bearings and washers. The washers right on top of the heads of screws and the thrust bearings. Keep, keep everything nice and tight. Now, <clears throat> to dismantle this guy, there's two bars in the center, and you can see the screws that uh, screw into those bars. I remove two screws from each one, and then pull this all apart. You can see the uh, you can see the pins that just slide out, and all of the <clears throat> all of the uh, stuff. Just falls falls apart. Bag it, label it, and uh, uh, one of the other things I've learned to do with these with these rotators, well, anything that I do in the field, is I don't use BNCs. They just get the living crap beat out of them. And I cap all my connectors, uh, all the ends. I use ends and just cap everything. Um, this <clears throat> is actually carried. I carry this over my shoulder. Um, weighs complete. Uh, all, all the stuff that is, say, the rotator control box batteries, uh, tripod, weighs less than a G5500, uh, the azimuth and elevation rotator. Uh, not too bad. And uh, again, the uh, the rotator itself fits in a uh, an ENG camera case. I uh, got a camera case, uh, a Porta Brace camera case for an ENG camera on eBay for 20 bucks, and uh, it fits just perfectly. Uh, it does a nice job. Uh, protecting, protecting it. Anyway, we're going to go out and watch this thing go round and round here in a couple minutes. 73 from San Andres, 5 Julia 0, Yankee, Kilo Foxtrot.